Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden video. Now, today, me and Zerk are going to be going through the Madden 21 player ratings for all 32 NFL teams. I believe it's only 10 per team. It's going to be a pretty long video. There is a lot of teams to go through. There's 32 of them, and depending on how much we end up speaking about each and every one, it could end up taking quite a while. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up, and comment down below if you guys think that someone's overrated, underrated. Let me know who's the worst one for you guys, especially when you see your hometown team. Let's get into this. Yep, today's the final day at the, uh, the Zerk household. Should be driving out tonight, so I will be back in the morning for our regularly scheduled... No content. No content videos. <laughs> yeah, regularly scheduled. So that should be fun no, to do. No content videos. But this concept's actually pretty cool, because... When well, Madden first rates their players to start the year, sometimes some are like really, really overrated to start the year or really underrated. And these are just the top 10, of course, they're not all of them, but I think it kind of covers from 80 and up. So that should be enough. But there's always, I always find it interesting when I find a player that's like, I don't even know the guy's name. And he's like an 80 base lead. And I'm like, where did this card come from? There's a lot of people on, like a lot of people have been saying that these are severely underrated. I don't think I've seen someone say that there's card actually overrated yet. I mean, I, I'm not going to... I don't really look at ratings. I look at more like who's above and who's below. Like we did yesterday with Zeke. Mm. Like when Saquon was an 89, I was like, that's okay. As long as he's a top three or four running back. Yeah. Now the issue is if he's like below a few guys, you're like, okay, he shouldn't be worse than him. So it really just depends. We, got, I mean, we haven't even looked at this yet. So yeah, exactly. it's cool to have a fresh reaction to it. So let's, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's see the Bears here first, right? So these are the Bears top 10. Cody Whitehair, 81. Start from the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, let's go from the bottom. Cody Whitehair, 81. Charles Leno, 81. Robert Quinn, 82. Is Roquan a little bit low at 83? I think the bottom two are fine. I think Roquan, I mean, I think Roquan's did he win a little award? low. Did he win, did he win Rick, Defensive Rookie of the Year? No. No, he did not. So, I mean, we love him because of Mutt. Yeah, that's true. So, I guess based off production, the actual Bears defense wasn't exactly too great last year, I guess. 83 is fair. We could be a little biased in that one, I, I, I suppose. Eddie Goldman's an 84. That's fair. Kyle Fuller, 85. Again, he's good because of Mutt, so we have to, like, take down to effect as well. Keem Hicks. 88 is that a bit high? I don't think it's high. I think he's pretty good. Allen Robinson, 89. I think Allen Robinson is one of the most underrated players in the NFL. He is, but stats-wise, I don't even know if he'd be an 89. That's very true. But I, I think he is a great receiver. Like when he had it, when he had his like his quarterback and he had Kem, like he was one of the top receivers. Oh yeah. If they, I mean, if the if Nick Foles actually does do good with the Bears, then he's gonna get a nice little upgrade this year. Uh, Eddie Jackson, 89. And then of course, Khalil Mack, 97. Khalil Mack, I, I, I would take anywhere 96 plus. It doesn't really matter there. I feel like Mac actually should be a little bit higher. I think he should be 99, but that's why I said 96 plus. Yeah. He should be, I think mean, 97 is okay. Bears fans, let us know down below. All right, so on to the Bengals. Now, you guys see with the Bengals here, Joe Mixon is an 89 compared to the Bears, top guy being Khalil Mack 97. I think 89 for Joe Mixon is solid. Uh, Geno Atkins, though, 88. Is that low? I mean, he's a bit older now. Very true. A bit a older. A and, and the Bengals just haven't been good. So, like, I feel like they always do ratings very, like, Proportionally to your team sometimes like if your team, team was just record. horrible. They had no defense like, It's it's very rare, but like sometimes like the Raiders Mac was a 99 or a high 90 whatever because even when they suck but The Bengals are just not and especially defensive tackles and stuff Sometimes it's hard to notice their run stopping ability and stuff when their defense just is horrible AJ Green 88 honestly that's okay, but I th is that a little bit high because he's been injured? I feel like that one actually in my eyes, AJ Green's high. like a ninety plus receiver, but in terms of real life and what he's done, because he hasn't he hasn't actually. How been is there he one overall less than Saquon Barkley? See, that's interesting. AJ Green is still in my eyes. If he could actually stay healthy and perform, I mean, you could still say top six, seven. The only thing worse is Watt being a ninety seven to ninety nine for the last six years and playing like and playing the absolute half nothing. of that. Yeah, DJ Reader, 84, Tyler That's Board, fair. 83. I think the rest of the Honestly, range for the Bengals are pretty fair. Better. I think Tyler, Tyler Board could be like an 85. Tyler Board's really good. He could have been. If, if AJ is an 88 and he's barely played, Tyler Board is definitely showing Tyler Board's been like place. a 1,000-yard receiver, at least close to it, with a bunch of touchdowns. Yeah. Carlos Dunlap, that's fair. I think the rest of these are pretty solid. All right, so under the Bills, at the bottom, we have Ed Oliver with an 81. John Brown, 82. Mitch Morse, 82. Devin Singletary, 82. I think all these ratings seem pretty solid, but Tredavious White, an 89 to me. I think he should be a little higher. Is really low. Like, he's like, I think he's a top, like, five he's corner. A, a lot of people say top two. He was, yeah. he, I mean, defensive player of the year candidate. Up there with Stephon Gilmore. If you're a defensive player of the year candidate, you should be, you should be a 90. A, yeah, like a 93, 94, probably. I mean, and Even Bills a fans. Is fine, but Bills 89. fans will die on the hill of Tredavious White is better than Stephon Gilmore. I don't think that Stephon Diggs should be a higher overall than Tredavious White. No. Stephon Diggs is a top 20 receiver. Tredavious White's a top 3, possibly 5 cornerback. Tredavious White definitely should be a lot higher. So on to the Broncos next, we have Bryce Callahan, 80, Bradley Chubb, 81. Bradley Chubb's kind of low. He was, yeah, but he was injured he was too, hurt, yeah. so it's kind of hard for that one. Corlin Sutton, 84. I think out of everyone on this list, Corlin Sutton's really low. 
Sutton's yeah. son should definitely be a lot higher than 84 there. Uh, Jarrell Casey, 84. A.J. Boye, 84. Melvin Gordon, Philip Lindsay, 84, 85. That's pretty interesting to have it. Two running backs, 84, 85 overall. Uh, Kareem Jackson, 87, which seems pretty pretty high. We're not, Kareem Jackson. Again, we're, I mean, we're not, we're not, a good we're not Bronco though. fans. Like, for me, even Simmons seems kind of high, but at the end of the day, like... A lot of people are saying Justin Simmons seems low. Like, I mean, Broncos yeah, that's what I'm fans saying. Broncos fans, fans you know. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. Von Miller, 97. I mean, if Max a 97... I think Von deserves to be nice. Von and Mac are always like neck and neck in terms of outside linebacking. That seems fair. As far as running back, who do you who do you play with? I probably would rather play with Lindsey when actually faster. playing because he's faster. Yeah, but it's nice to have a two back like that in case one gets like one goes down. It's a nice duo for Broncos or fans. just if one gets tired. But no Drew Lock, so Lock's probably pretty low. Ooh, Lock's probably like a seventy-seven. On to the Browns now. We have Sheldon Richardson in 81, Olivier Vernon in 82, Jarvis Landry's 85, Joel Batonio, Denzel Ward's 86. Kareem Hunt is an 87. Austin Hooper from the Falcons now, of course, is an 89. OBJ, 91. Nick Chubb, 92. Miles Garrett, 93. Honestly, it's pretty I fair. I have a problem here, Kareem Hunt. You think Kareem Hunt's too high? How is he close to Saquon? Like, it's just my, my like, Kareem Hunt's great. He's a great running back. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's nearly as explosive as Saquon. I don't think he's as talented. That's another team and with a really backup, good And he was duo. a backup back, though. Yeah. That's a team with another good running back duo. That's I mean, a great team. You have a 92 duo. and an 87 running back. And then you have OBJ at 91, you have Hooper at 89, and then Landry at 85. That's, that's a solid offense, but again, no, no quarterback. All right, so next up, we have the Buccaneers. You guys can see the ratings instantly. Two things that just make zero sense to me. Shaquille Barrett, 85. Way too low. He's lower than Sue. Yes. And he had a great season. Yes, he was old. defensive player of the year candidate. Yes, Shaquille Barrett's an 85 <laughs> overall on the franchise tag right now. Brady at a 90. Brady's fair. There's I Brady. think it's fair. But Gronkowski at a 95 coming out of retirement? Now, could it be that they just did his stats and that's kind of what the, the you know, the algorithm but, put him at? The, but I don't think so. There's no, I just don't think that Gronk coming out of retirement should be a 95. Oh, you think that Gronk coming out of retirement is better than Miles Garrett at Don't a get me wrong. I think Miles, I think Gronk's going to be great. Yeah, Gronk is going to have a good but, year. But if they're going to discount players for injuries and missing some of last year, how can you not discount someone who missed an entire year and retired? There's just no way that Gronk should be the That's like taking Brett Favre out of retirement. He's, 97, he's 97 overall again. There's no way they should have Gronk at a 95 and Mike Evans at 97. I think Gronk at like an 88 would have been fair. Yes, Only Gronk should be like an 87, 88. I think he'll have up with like a 77 to 80 speed, though. And that'll kill him. That'll, fair be, enough. that'll be too low. So you guys can see, this is the first team, I believe, that actually has 70 overalls in the top 10. And Kyler Murray is only a 77 as the offensive rookie of the year, which I think is way too low. Isaiah Simmons is higher than him in a 78, hasn't played a snap, which I think Isaiah Simmons has like 92 or 93 speed, I believe I saw a tweet yesterday, which is awesome. He should have a skate artist, though. With him being a 77, he's going to have no abilities, which oh, means he's not yeah, going to be. He may, he he's may not going to have abilities. abilities. Unless they change the ability threshold. Oh, I guess for them, they could just put it in regardless. Well, for for head to head, it may be a little bit different. I'm not entirely sure on that. I think Kyler should have abilities, though. Pat P, 88. Okay, yeah, kind of a downer year, but it's still Pat Pete. Yeah. He's still he's still an absolute beast. Buda Baker, 86. Chandler Jones, 95. Severely underrated player in the NFL. Good, solid rating. Solid rating for him. And then D-Hop, 98. Overall, pretty fair. Uh, Fitz, 83. How is Isaiah Simmons a higher overall than Kyler Murray? That, that's the one thing that just doesn't make sense. I, Isaiah Simmons should be a 78, but of the Murray Kyler should be like, if based on these ratings, Kyler uh, should be like 82. He's better than Kenyon Drake. Yeah, he should be like 82, 83. So next up is the Chargers. You guys can see we have Austin Eckler, Hunter Henry, both 85s, Desmond King, Brian Bulaga, and Melvin Ingram, 88s. I think Derwin's a little low. Derwin should be a 94. And 89. Uh, but wait till we see the other safety ratings, because I already know one safety that Jamal Adams, when we see his rating, you'll understand why Derwin James is only 89. Uh, Casey Hayward, though. Derwin was, like an eight, Derwin was like a 94 this year, though. Casey Hayward above Derwin James? No. No. That shouldn't happen. Derwin James, based on these, Keenan Allen, Joey Bosa, both 91. That's decent. I think if you're going to put them at 91, though, Derwin should probably be about 91. 90 or 91. Yeah. Austin Eckler, I think, should be higher. That's fair. He's a backup guy, but he played well. So next, we have the Chiefs, and of course, we have Mahomes at 99. No complaints there. Obviously, Mahomes deserves that. Be if, he, if it was possible. Yeah, 102. Maybe two star. <laughs> Travis Kelsey, 97. Mitchell Schwartz, 96. Tyreek Hill, 96. Tyron Matthew, 93. Chris Jones, 92. Frank Clark, 83. I don't really have any complaints in these ratings. I, th I think these ratings are pretty solid. It just throws me off seeing Tyreek Hill, 96. 
I've never. Like, he's too hot. No, just like he's he's good, but like he has like that stigma of like that speedy receiver, and like and that's it. I'm not used to seeing a speedy receiver capping your Hopkins, Michael Thomas range. Yeah, he absolutely is it's, one of the top receivers in the NFL, but I understand what you're saying. No one thinks he's a complete receiver, but when yeah. you watch the actual game, like he can route run, he can contest a catch, he can go up forward, so it just throws me off. I'm not used to that. He definitely he definitely deserves to be there, though. So next is the Colts, and without a doubt, obviously, Quentin Nelson is their best player at a 94. A lot of people would say he's like the best offensive lineman in the NFL, though. He's only a 94. I think he could even be like a 96, 97. He could definitely be. I think if Mitchell Schwartz is a 96... I think Wendell's to be 96. Uh, T.Y. 87, DeForest Buckner 87, Justin Houston 85, Marlon Mack 85, Darius Leonard 85. I think Leonard's probably the most underrated on this team. Definitely should be around 90. Buckner's probably a close second. Yeah, Buckner's definitely a little bit low Buckner's too. Buckner's like an 89, 90. I think Buckner and, Buckner and Darius Leonard, a little bit too low. So I'm pretty sure that we're already like probably 10 minutes into this video so we definitely need to pick it up a bit because we were only on the cowboys so we're gonna give you guys a little bit less explanation with everyone but next up is the cowboys of course we have 98 with zach martin zeke 92 cooper 92 uh dak prescott's only an 84 leighton vanderish 83 my one complaint here and actually it's not even on the list here is jalen smith jalen smith is 100 as a cowboys fan i know this 100 jalen smith is a better player than shadobi he is a better player than Gerald McCoy. I, I, I think that Jalen deserves to be about 85-86. I think Layton's a little low, too. Yeah, absolutely. Now, next up, we have the Dolphins, which their best player is from the Cowboys. 88 Byron Jones. A lot of people were saying Xavier Howard and only 82 was a little bit underrated, too, because, like, Pro Football Focus has him ranked as, like, the best corner. He's only 82, and the rest of their team, a lot of 70s. Byron Howard should be a little bit higher. Now onto the Eagles, you guys can see again, Wentz is an 84, same as Dak Prescott, a lot of debate there. Uh, everyone on Twitter was saying that Dak should be like a 90, based on Wentz being an 84. Uh, Darius Slay, 87. Slay could be higher. Slay super low. Slay is Carson super Wentz low. Wrong. Interesting. Uh, yeah, they did. They, they didn't spot a couple names on this list. Uh, Fletcher Cox, 96. I think Cox, Jeffers so high at this point. 84 for him? I don't know, he's like, he's just been so, he's been a name for the last like five years, like, had some drops, has a, he's, he's, I don't think he's like a number one receiver anymore. Very true. Zach Ertz is a 92. Lane Johnson, 89. Yeah, definitely need some improvements here. Falcons, Julio Jones, 96. Obviously there. Todd Gurley, 86. Deion Jones, 86. Dante Fowler, 81. Calvin Ridley, 83. You guys can see the list here. I think once we see the rest of the quarterbacks, you guys may think Matt Ryan is a little bit high at 87. And I think Julio is a little bit low. I think Julio should be 98. That's fair. He should not be too less than Hopkins. Yeah. Should be at least a neck and neck. 49ers up next, George Kittle, 98, makes perfect sense. Richard Sherman, honestly, and Nick Bosa, I think both of them could be a little bit higher. I mean, Nick Bosa winning Defensive Player of the Year. If Bosa's an 89, how is Calvin Murray 77? If we're talking Defensive Player of the Year, Offensive Player of the Year, I think both of those should be higher because he is one of the best defensive ends in the game already. You guys see the rest of the stats? It looks like they're trying to, they're trying to keep the young guys not too capped yet. Mm-hmm. Because I've seen a lot of young guys like Quentin Nelson. I'm keeping them all at like a decent pace up so that they can get their 99-ish overall. They have not given any like young, young guy like Kyler. All those guys are keeping them kind of down. Next course, we have the Giants. And I think the biggest complaint that I've seen here is Saquon Barkley only an 89. Obviously, he was injured this year. Didn't play to his max potential. I think if we're talking about potential for Saquon Barkley, he's right up there with Zeke. He should be a 92 at least. He should definitely be a 92. Only an 89. This is probably the one that I've seen the most criticism about over on Twitter is Saquon. If Saquon has a regular style Saquon here this year, he should be pushing for 99 Club with McCaffrey in a year or two. Now next is going to be the Jags, and you guys can see with them, they don't really have a lot of high overall players at all. Josh Allen, 81. Miles Jack, 81. Leonard Fournetter, 83 overall. Yannick Ngakwe, 83. Why is this a Fournetter? Uh, Josh Lambeau, 85. Brandon Linder, 87. Pretty bad if your kicker is uh, number two in the team. I think Allen, Shark, and Jack should all be higher. Now, this one with the Jets is very interesting. If Frank Gore is in your top 10, he is a 79 overall. That man does not give Higher up. than Kyler Murray. That is crazy. Uh, aside from that, I mean... Rankings are fair. Jamal Adams. I think Jamal should be a little higher, but... 94, 95. There. Now we have the Lions, and you guys can see they're all about 81 to 86 overall through their top 10. I think Matt Stafford a little bit low. Maybe even Marvin Jones and Kenny Galladay could be maybe one or two higher each, but Stafford's probably the biggest complaint here. 
And for the top 10 for the Packers, we have Elton Jenkins coming in 80 overall at the bottom. Preston Smith, I've seen a lot of people say maybe he should be a little bit higher. Zadarius Smith, 88. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers, only 89. EA every single year has been reducing Rodgers. I don't know if you guys have been keeping track of that. But literally every single year, they continue to just make him lower and lower and lower. But Devontae Adams, 93. Maybe you could say 94? I think I think Adams 95. You could say 94, 95 for Dante Adams. Uh, David Bakhtiari, 96. That's fair. Now, of course, we have a 99 overall member here with the Panthers with Christian McCaffrey at 99. No complaints there. Um, aside from him, eh? I think Robbie Anderson's a little high. Robbie Anderson may be a little bit high. DJ Moore a little bit low. Now, of course, we have the Pats, which Stephon Gilmore, 99 again. Definitely deserved to be there. Devin McCourty, 92. Um, yeah. Overall, pretty solid ratings, I'd say, for the Patriots. I wouldn't argue these at all. Now we have the Raiders, which, again, you guys can see we have some 79 overalls, including Derek Carr at a 79, Darren Waller, 85. Maybe Waller's a little bit low here. Rodney Hudson, 93. I'd I actually saw Waller, people complaining about think, Rodney Hudson. Yeah, I think Waller Max should be like an 87, though, because Hooper is an 89, and Hooper did have a better year. Mm -hmm. And Hooper was hurt, so had a better year. So I think Waller, 86, 87 would be good. Hudson, I mean, they say he's the best, you know, one of the top two. Top so percentage. he should be 95. Probably, but they haven't keep. I mean, Nelson 94. Now we have another member of the 99 club, of course, Aaron Donald at a 99. Definitely deserves it. Probably the best defensive end we may have ever seen in the entire NFL. Well, I guess he's kind of a, he's a DT. He plays interior. Uh, we also have Jalen Ramsey at a 94. Cooper Cup at an 88 as the third best player on the Rams. I mean, statistically speaking, he's actually one of the best wide receivers in the entire nfl when he is healthy he fell off the second half of the year yes but it wasn't really his fault it was more like a golf and an offense they're trying to they're trying to change it up note though no jared Goff. so this is kind of interesting to me calais campbell actually tops off the ravens here at a 95 lamar jackson's only a 94 ronnie stanley 93 marlon humphrey 89 earl thomas 88 i honestly think that the lowest rating player like the person that probably should be a lot higher is tucker he's 87 yeah i mean you're the best kicker I don't know why they don't get kickers. Kicker they should kickers high NFL 90s. History. They should get kickers high 90s. I don't know why. Do you, I mean, I guess what do you keep boosting? Do you boost his throw power? Do you boost his speed? Like, I don't know how the algorithm works for kicking, but I know his kicking power and accuracy is near 99s. He should definitely be, I mean, you could even say he could be the best player. He should definitely be a 90-something. Yeah, for sure. So next up, we have got the Washington no name because it's actually not the Redskins anymore. We'll see what they actually, I don't believe they've announced it just yet. We will see what their name is going to be. Uh, Landon Collins, 81. Darius Geis at an 81. Darius Geis at an 81. Geis was hurt. I mean, he was hurt. It was on and off all year. With if how he, it hurt he's been. If he stays healthy, he could be an 88. Ryan Kerrigan, 84. Kendall Fuller, 86. I mean, maybe Brandon Sheriff's a little low. At an 87. So next up, we've got the Saints. Now, this is what I'm talking about with how I think some of these ratings may not be 100% correct because Michael Thomas, there's a picture on his Instagram, he was actually wearing the 99 overall chain. So I'm pretty sure Michael Thomas is a 99. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe if some of the ratings are incorrect exactly because they only have Michael Thomas at 98 here. Cameron Jordan, 96. Tron Armstead, 95. Breeze at a 93. A lot of people saying Alvin Kamara is a little low. And Ladmore in 86. So what's no your thoughts Michael on that? Thomas, he probably he probably saw his rating and got his own made up. <laughs> probably made his own chain because he thinks he's in there. He cannot wait to pull that out the next slant route. Oh, yeah, he's wearing that for sure. So next day, we have the Seahawks. Bobby Wagner's in 98. Russell Wilson, 97. Oh, you can't really complain about those ratings. Those are pretty good. I mean, those are definitely really Bobby good. Bobby Wagner's always the best metal linebacker uh, stat-wise. 100%. Every he's, time. He, he's the best metal linebacker in the NFL now. And just in general, Madden, they always give him like, the highest rated card. Base elite, Madden, Mutt, doesn't matter. Yep. Aside from that, Carlos Hyde, 80. Carlos Hyde's a little high. You can, see, you can see the stats. They're, they're pretty solid. No DK Metcalf, though. So we have the Steelers up next, and the number one thing that I've seen, and I definitely agree, TJ Watt, 86. No 86 luck. for de Defensive Player of the Year candidate. He's less than Stefan it and Cameron Hayward. When I think TJ Watt, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're great players, but I think TJ Watt was better. TJ Watt was the Steelers' well, best player same. this year. TJ Watt should be a 92. 92, 93. I, don't, I think there's no excuse for that. Same thing with Minka. Minka should be a 90. Now, this team just doesn't make any sense to me with the Texans here. Deshaun Watson, only an 86, and J.J. Watt at a 98. Still borderline. They love that guy. Like, I, I love J.J. Watt's death, but they he just has that, not man. performed like he did in years past. I just don't see how J.J. Watt is a 98 overall when someone like Khalil Mack or someone like Von Miller, only 97s, and you have T.J. at 86. T.J.'s Defensive Player of the Year candidate, J.J. not even close. I think 
Tons a little underrated too. Now next we have the Titans. Derrick Henry is a 93, which if you compare him to the running backs, he definitely got some respect there. AJ Brown, 81. I think a little bit low. Taylor Luan, 84. Again, I think a little bit low, but aside from that... It's always weird seeing Luan low. I remember the older Maddens when Luan was like always 99, 97, 95. Like he was always a top left tackle. And Mutt too. Also notice, no Tannehill. And the final team is going to be the Vikings, guys. As you can see, Harrison Smith is a 95. Dalvin Cook is a 91. Michael Pierce, 91. Thielen, 90. Eric Kendricks, 89. Daniel uh, Daniel Hunter, 89. They have a lot of 89 to 95. I mean, that's that's pretty solid for the Vikings. Or on the roster. Anthony Harris, 83. A lot of people complain about Kirk Cousins in 82 and Bard in 82, but... I think Rudolph's too high. Yeah. He doesn't do... Like, he, he for the Vikings, he's probably good, but, like, stat-wise, like, for his own personal rating... I mean, four-sack J.J. Watt got a 98, so... Daniel Hunter's amazing. I think Daniel Hunter's actually underrated. Eric Eric Hendricks, I feel like he's always a little... I feel like a lot of these ratings, and that was the final team, of course, I feel like a lot of these ratings were mostly underrated. There's not really anyone that's overrated. I think J.J. is overrated. Yeah, I think a lot of them are underrated. I think the most overrated player is probably J.J. Watt. Well, they're probably leaving room, because, like, what if they gave everyone high 90s? Then, like, an older man, like, there's no movement. Yeah. I'd say there's no... And, like, everyone lo people love in-season roster changes, especially franchise guys and head-to-head. -head. They love seeing that roster update where like all the players about uh, ratings change week to week i think we're gonna have to wait and see exactly which one of these ratings are going to change because i honestly i think that they may change some of these ratings because they've been saying that you know they haven't released the official ratings just yet i believe that they may change some of these around based on the backlash they've been getting for a lot of these so don't be surprised some of these ratings are a little bit different when they actually release the official ratings but with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you drop a like on the video and of course hit that sub button down below Poodle, anything left to say? Same thing he said, my channel. That should be good to go. <laughs> See you guys next time. Peace.